Okay then people, welcome back to yet another video on the AliExpress 1111 sale. Uh, so this time the list I'm going to be going for is uh, a list of new releases and new watches. Now of course it's impossible to capture every single you know new item released. Um, what AliExpress did do a fair few months ago or maybe last year even they had an option for you to filter by uh you know release date or you know new new items which made it really easy but this time around you have to look around a bit more uh, and as I mentioned in the last san martin sale video that i did which was just a, a day or two ago um that i have a few other lists to go through so this list as i said is going to be eight brand new releases which i've managed to kind of sift through on the aliexpress platform now these are from brands which i have dealt with previously and of course because they're new these are not recommendations i've not touched them but we are going by you know the previous impressions that these brands have left on us so i've been careful to choose brands which i have checked out and which you know the whole community knows quite a lot about so let's start off on the first one right and the first one we are looking at is um you know these guys x dow they should get an award for the best newcomer for 2023 uh, as it has been for the past few years we do have the one brand that kind of dominates uh, but whereas someone like San Martin is continuously dominating throughout the last three, four years, we've been on this. So with this x dial we can see uh, this is a bronze watch. Uh, we can clearly see what it is homaging and it just stood out to me, right? It looked very interesting. And, and now x dial they have done some incredible watches. I've reviewed uh, pretty much a few of them, which have all passed. You know, they've been uh, nothing major in terms of issues with them. So let's take a closer look at this. And if you blow this picture up a bit, we can see uh, you've got black ceramic bezel. It's got the 14 style loom, but it's not overly yellow. It's a nice kind of muted cream color. I particularly love the, you know, the Fume dial. You know, I've got a real affinity towards these kind of dials. Um, we can see the snowflake hands. Uh, we can see a dateless date design. And if memory serves me correct on the last Titanium Pelago Somage, when I did the three-way comparison, x were the only ones that managed to modify the P2000 and remove the ghost position, which was, you know, kudos and, and credit to them for them uh, being that technically minded, or they've got, obviously, the watchmakers to do that. Um, so yeah i think another interesting thing about this watch is look at the end links these are fully bronze and then you've got a leather strap attached to that so fitted end links that's very impressive um but you know we have to be careful because it's a new release i don't think anyone's looked at this i will be rec um, recommending xdad to send me this particular model so i can check it out uh let's check out some of the colors so you've got this nice brown which suits the whole aesthetic really well um and then you've got brown wz what oh okay right so you've got a, a california style dial with chinese markers along the top uh i hope i'm right in saying it's chinese and not japanese and then you've got some numerals at the bottom that looks very interesting as well very different so i, I like that uh, we've seen the green and then they've got this lovely blue as well so all dial colors are really good actually i really do like them the price uh for the november 11 sale will be 225 pound which is considering everything it's it's what we expect right so if we go down and uh, let's see a bit more details about this being a new watch uh, i mean look at some of the pictures leather strap integrated into those bronze end links uh, great i mean there was a big hype around bronze watches a few years ago I remember heimdall did a bunch and so did everybody else um so it's good to see it make a slight comeback um and what can i say guys you guys are looking at this as i am it looks good um the only thing i can see here which might be a bit different is obviously bronze being bronze it's going to patina in a very unique way but this looks like uh, not two different types of bronze but if you look at the end links we can see is in at least in this picture it's a lot newer uh, so that will patina quite different it currently looks like a bit of a mismatch and you can see a bit more patina around this which if you know what bronze watches they are quite well they're not difficult to maintain because a lot of people you know make them look like old copper pipes and people love it like you know the old hulls of ships with barnacles growing on there for me when i had bronze watches uh, i like to keep them pretty clean uh, and allow that sort of crystallization to appear um which is quite different uh and yeah it looks good you know that's all i can say so it's it's something worth pointing out to everybody watching uh, of course you've got to have a stainless steel case back and you've got to have possibly the inside of the crown needs to be stainless steel as well um so this is actually quite interesting you've got quick release spring bars and i don't know if that applies to the end link but you can see it applies to the strap so does that mean you can put multiple straps on it looks like the case if i look at some of these smaller details you can see those spring bars are into those lugs and not into the end links so that is actually a game changer in and of itself 
and that's a very unique feature which I really do like. So it's gonna have standard specs, sapphire, this, that, the other. Oh, okay, here's something odd, 21 millimeters on the bandwidth, um, which uh, might not be ideal, but AliExpress being diverse, they do have 21 millimeter straps everywhere. Um, case thickness, what we got, 11 and a half mil, which is, you know, you gotta take that with a pinch of salt, it might be close to 12. Uh, 39 mil case, brilliant, uh, and yeah, that's, that's all we can see here. So guys, definitely worth checking out. And as you can see with XDAO, I mean, I've got a separate video on this, which is why I haven't mentioned some of these watches where I'll be talking about some of the best watches that I've seen this year, which will feature some of these, but uh, stick to the topic, uh, new releases, this is brilliant, right? I mean, I'm definitely interested. And after this, a message is going out to XDAO for me to get this in. Uh, okay, so next up is the Seastern. This is the Glashute homage. I did a review on this. Now, this is actually a different version. So. If we just re rewind a bit, uh, they did a V2 to the one that I reviewed and they made a bigger crown, a significantly bigger crown, which was great. Uh, and that had the NS35. Now, this particular one from Seastern, it's got the Seagull ST2130 in there. Uh, usual specs as, you know, the, the, the rest of it. 39mm uh, case diameter, 12mm thick, uh, etc, etc. 45mm uh, log to log, uh, so very compact watch. Um, but what they do have noticeably differences is you see the crown is is quite a lot different it's like a dress watch uh, Sort of a tulip crown, but then the other thing which is quite significant is that domed sapphire crystal Which gives the watch a very unique profile uh, and gives it more of a vintage dressed up look a feel um, And it's interesting. It does look nice. I mean the previous watch was great if you look at the fit and finish I mean these pictures don't tell us lies um, you know, Seastern do build to this quality and uh, you've got a obviously the what is it the three section micro adjustment on there um, Very nice clasp. Okay with the branding present uh, and it's got that starfish that funky starfish that we all love now on the back I can see exhibition case back on there as well so Colors I think the same as previously the blue with the sunray dials green I thought the green was off in the other one and I think so is it on this one uh, and black they have, oh and they've got the bronze or a rose gold version which looks really nice with matching uh, indices and framing so there's a lot of attention to detail on these watches i mean so far only seven have been sold being a new release on sale from 184 pound 269 pound i think this is well worth uh checking out and know that this will be coming my way for review in the upcoming weeks Okay, next up, uh, we got one from Radune. I mean, the reason I picked this, one, it's new, and two, it's very cheap, um, £38.98. You don't even need to have a sale price on there, but three is Radune. It's, it's been a while since they've released anything, and Radune are very accurate homage watchmakers. Uh, they do a really good job. Now, I know there's a lot of World War II guy, you know, fans um that that like these watches and they like these you know old vintage style watches and they like them to be period correct so uh this is a quartz movement on here miota 2035 the size is very accurate it's just under 35 millimeters it seems to have a brushed surface to the dial i mean the typical standard pilot field watch or a world war era field watch with a lovely what looks to be a lovely canvas uh single pass strap of some sort don't go for this black one it looks quite tough um, I'd go for this one, it looks a bit softer, and I think these are elasticated and they are quite good. Uh, looking at the pictures we have here, everything looks okay guys, Radune, you know, don't really let us down, do they? So good loom, but that's that's a fake picture anyway, so we can't really go by that. Um, looking at some of the close-ups, yeah, bead blasted case, which is pretty normal with these kind of watches. Uh, four years, battery life, accuracy 20 seconds a month, that's the beauty with obviously quartz so let's look at the dimensions they've got 41 millimeter log to log 35 well just under 35 as i said on dimensions thickness is 10.5 and 18 mil strap width and the interesting thing here or the important thing here is it's mineral glass which isn't a letdown guys it's not a letdown believe me um 36 grams well, that's super light that is isn't it um yeah so this is definitely interesting for those people that like the period correct war watches Okay, let's move on. Uh, and we've got one from Addy's Dive now. This is, I believe, it might be a 36 or a 38. I'll check that uh, when we go down. So with Addy's Dive, um, you know, I did review this case with a different dial setup. It was more of a dressier one. And they are quite impressive. Uh, especially this year, they've really turned around 
uh, you know, they've been uh, doing some really good things, made some really good value for money and watches. I reviewed a couple of them. Um, so this dial is, is different because it's, I'd say, a Seiko Tic Tac uh, kind of homage or a Murph, if you want to see it like that. Um, so, yeah, very interesting look, uh, field watch looks, but of course, they've only got 12 and 6 here, relatively clean dial. And you've got a date function on this. So let's see what the specs hold. So price-wise, now this is where um, we've got to watch out. So as you know, AliExpress do, um, what's it called, choice deals. And they also do this 11.11 sale. Now, consequently, a lot of the choice deals, which I have featured in, in these videos, uh, they run out just before the 11 level because they don't want that crossover. Because with the current deal that you have on, it's under £70. But after, when the sale does start, it goes up. To 81 pound 71 i mean which is nothing unusual in the sale world these things do happen but uh, it's probably better getting it now rather than waiting for the sale uh, or waiting just till after maybe if you want to risk that um so if we go down let's have a look what they have on here so this is ns35 movement uh which is good for the price um do we have sapphire so case time test okay so 39 mil which is decent 48 mil log to log 30 mil case thickness uh do we have okay so this is mineral glass on this that's worth an option i think it was the same on the other che cheaper watch that they did um yeah super luminova 100 meters okay so the rest is pretty normal i mean there we go uh so if you like this design and they've also changed the font to kind of match the old aesthetic uh, i like the handset it's, it's really good good proportions on there so far nice black dial uh, and yeah, it does look promising, although debatably you could have brushed the, you know, the, what do you call it, bezel uh, to make it more fieldish. But let's see how it looks in, in hand, actually. So moving on from the Dune, we've got, you know, the good old Pagani design. Now this, clearly you can see what it is. It's homaging a particular style of watch, but also it's going for those 5KX, you know, those special edition Street Fighter versions. So you've got that going on, which it looks good. In all honesty, it looks quite nice. And what I believe they have is a, uh, it doesn't look like a flat bezel insert, does it? It looks slightly curved, but will they tell us that? Um, so PD7026, and it's 36 movement, which we expect. Uh, it's got sapphire crystal, um, 140 grams, 40 millimeter case diameter, log to log of 47 mil. Uh, and case thickness are 14 mil, so pretty normal specifications. I mean, it looks quite good. And these watches, as you know, when PD came out with this particular design, very popular. I think the most popular watch on AliExpress. Now, here's something interesting. Look at the loom shot. We know that's computer generated CGI fake news because I've yet to see a Pagani design with great loom. So let's hold our breath on that. And you also got PD on the Rehort, amazing. Um, yeah, the bezel insert, man, it does look domed or curved, right? It's not just me. Um, hopefully it isn't flat because that looks kind of okay. Uh, okay, so that's definitely one, you know, worth checking out, guys. Uh, and moving up to something very classic, very popular. This is, of course, Pagani Designs, uh, you know, I think most, I think maybe number two most popular watch. Or it might have taken over uh, the previous one. So this is obviously the Speedy Homage and I've reviewed a few different colors. I mean, let's look at the other colors. You know, they smashed it. And I think when Swatch came out, these guys smashed it even more. So you can go classic uh, retro or you can go something very contemporary or you can go with this new one. And when I saw the picture, I felt it, it was quite, they done it quite well. I think that Pepsi bezel and the red hand does definitely make it look um, a bit toned down than the rest of the colors. It makes it look a bit stuck, if I'm honest. Um, everything about the watch was great. You know, there's nothing really to knock about it. I mean, Sapphire Crystal, it's got Seiko VK63. Japanese quartz movement in there, 100 meters of water resistance, 40 mil case diameter. It's also got female end links. The bracelet is all right, a bit sharp, but I, you can you know put it on different straps if you wish. Price wise, 92 pound, but in the sale we do get a very good reduction, uh, and it comes down to 64 pound 53 pence, which is definitely one to look out for, guys. Uh, moving on, okay, now this one, so guess, okay, this might be a bit controversial, so. First thing first, price, £270, okay, and this is previous uh, or prior to the 11.11 sale. At 11.11, it goes up by £8, uh, so you don't want it then. But this is the version 4 watch, right? Now, I've reviewed the version 1 and the version 2, and I while these are expensive, if you look on Suges or Seaston store and you look at the reviews, they are very, very highly rated watches. All the reviews, I think they are 5-star, there's no issues with them. 
uh, I had the 7750 clone movement in there which mine was running perfectly and I ended up selling it because I needed to downsize slightly but uh, I had it for two years uh, checked on the time grapher and it was reading zero right on a beta and it was I think what was it one two seconds a day brilliant watch and of course the v2 they made it slightly thinner uh, so we've got all those improvements in here uh, but the biggest improvement is now and again slightly controversial for those that know uh, is the fact that it uses uh, the new peacock sl4801 movement now to the guys that know what i'm talking about when i say this movement this is in all the newer versions uh, of this particular style from you know the really dark side of watches um so i think this makes this watch i think a bit more i'd say uh, sought after maybe or it makes it a bit more impressive because it has all those you know beautiful things uh without that uh taboo behind it i suppose uh, and you also got a new colorway so this is obviously what you can see here you've got the red on the 100 and uh, no other red anyway it would have been nice to have it on there you know just to have the little matching accent but uh, and what they also did reduce the font on the dial uh, the lines of text it looks good so you've got a black dial enamel black with that uh, polished bezel personally right what i would go for guys if i want to make it easier for you is i might try the new i'd say i'll try the new one if you like it in terms of colorway but I would stick to, I'd go for this one, definitely stunning in hand. Um, and this is also dateless on here. Uh, and Or I'd go for the classics, right? Black or white. Uh, I had the black one uh, and that black dial was so glossy and so jet black, amazing watch. Uh, so definitely check it out guys. And like I said, I'd, I'd wait till after the sale or get it just before if you can't wait. Because in, in sale time, now I don't know if any coupons will be applied uh it's gonna be 378 pound or it might end up being the same so is there anything we can see 12 and a half mil thick 39 mil case yeah standard stuff nothing really uh that i haven't covered so the last one right okay san martin has gone retro they've gone back to the drawing board so this is a 62 mass homage as you guys can clearly see now um damn there's already 50 sold okay um so with this one one thing that did catch my eye was the dial colors you know uh, they've got this nice blue, uh, matte blue. They've got this nice green as well. Uh, let me scroll up. And they've also got that standard grey. But one thing that did stand out was the sizing. So we know San Martin did the 40 or 41 mil version. Uh, we know Heimdall did. And you know my you know, personal affinity with the 62 mass homages. I think I reviewed everything out there. That's a 62 mass homage. Now this one is 39 mil. Uh, and bearing in mind they've done a 37 or a 38 mil previously which was sharp right i made some good chips with that watch um for those of you guys that watched the review but this one 39 mil okay uh and it's 35 uh and it looks good so i'm giving this a chance again uh i've requested this from san martin this is on route as we speak so i'll be interesting in seeing if this is any different to the previous one i mean anything 62 mass guys I'm, I'm a bit of a sucker for it uh, so that's it so these are eight new releases that i've picked up on again from brands which i know about or are reputable and you know we're not going to get any nasty surprises um so let me know your thoughts in the comment section guys hope you guys enjoyed the sale get everything that you want to get that you've been saving up for and let me know your thoughts in the comments as i said and like always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next video